Hey, so this week we're talking about God's promised love, and throughout all of this, what we've really seen is that the focus is all on God, right? We, we see that God keeps his promises, we see that God favors just ordinary, normal people. Uh, we don't have to be like spectacular or priests or anything. God just, God loves you because of God. Um, and then we saw yesterday that God brings love to us, which, which is to say that I don't have to work for it, I don't have to be good enough. God, God does it. God brought us love. God sent Jesus. Uh, we didn't work for Jesus or, or coerce God to bring him. So um, Today we talk about our part, and, and what do we do in all of this? And I think we do what Mary does. Remember, uh, in Luke's gospel, he wants us to join him in the journey. And um, here's the thing, two things, trust and obey God and God's word. Verse 38, one verse, uh, Mary said, Behold, I'm the servant of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. And I just want to, you know, a quick contrast. If you go to Zechariah, Zechariah was unable to speak because he didn't believe, he doubted the Lord. Here Mary is, this young lady, and she's got probably a tougher row to hoe than he did, and um, she's just like, okay, I believe. I- I'm here. I'm going to do whatever it takes, whatever you say. So question then for us in our lives, as we look at all of this and we see how God is keeping his promises, how he's fulfilling his love, how God is there for us, he's doing all these things for us, right? Would, would you choose to trust and obey God today? And if not, right, the question is, what what is it that keeps us from trusting and obeying God on a day-to-day basis?